Now, for a lot of folks, the only time they've heard the word anabolic is in reference to anabolic steroids, where a weightlifter or bodybuilder may use these steroids to help their body build more muscle mass. And the reason that this can be effective in that regard is that it pushes that body far into the rebuild and repair state all of the time. So the body's constantly rebuilding. The problem is using these steroids can create a whole lot of problems. What a person could do if they wanted to build more muscle was use some natural food options and supplement options to help push their body towards this anabolic state so it can rebuild a little more muscle without cramming it into the state and creating a lot of problems. Now, if a person is stuck in this anabolic state most of the time, they may have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning because at the cellular level, their body is still asleep. It's also very common to see constipation and anxiety in an overly anabolic state. But it's important to understand that these are not the only causes for these symptoms. These are just possible issues that we see in this imbalance, and these seem to be the most common. In an overly anabolic state, the body will send more of our water through the kidneys and less to the bowels, so the person's stool can get a little bit hard and dry and make it harder to move. They may also find themselves getting up to pee a lot in the middle of the night because the body's sending all of its water through the kidneys. In an overly anabolic state, the body also likes to create energy through fermentation, and a byproduct of creating energy through fermentation can be lactic acid. So if the body's stuck in this anabolic state and creating a lot of its energy through fermentation, it can accumulate too much much lactic acid, which can cause anxiety and even panic attacks. Now, remember, there's other causes for anxiety and panic attacks. What's nice is that if we can look at our unique bio-individuality and run simple self-tests that we can do at home using tools we can pick up at a pharmacy or a health food store, and we see that, yeah, it appears that we're looking too far on that anabolic side, and we're dealing with symptoms that commonly show up in an anabolic state, then we can take steps to improve that imbalance and see if those symptoms will improve as well.